Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about uh, how to set up your nitric oxide machine. Um, this is your nitric oxide machine. In the back, it has two nitric oxide tanks and an oxygen tank. But let's talk about setting up your whole setup, putting your whole setup together. We have kits here available in the equipment room and it's located on the uh, third row on the second shelf and it will say I know max kit now inside the kit are all of these items and how you see them here is practically how they would all go together okay so now let's put this whole thing together you have your flow transducer and you have your flow transducer cable. You have to match the connectors inside. There's this little um, marker over here and inside there's a little marker on the inside that you have to match. Okay, don't force it in there if it doesn't match. It should just easily click. The same thing with the other end that will go into the machine right there. And you can see that there's also a picture there that tells you how it goes. Okay, so now you take the injector tubing, open it up, injector tubing goes there and then it goes here okay now if you look at how this whole thing is set up you just open up the whole kit and just put all of them together that connects there open this one that connects there Open your blue adapter. That connects there. Open this other adapter. That connects there. And if we're doing a patient that's not on a ventilator, then the nasal cannula just connects to that nib. Now going backwards, you open up your other adapter goes right there goes there and your oxygen tubing goes there there you go now you have that whole setup then we'll just go over about how this the other connectors connect to the machine Okay guys, a couple of more connectors that we need to connect. There's this tubing, this is the sample tubing, and the sample tubing goes here. Just twist that there. And then the other end of the sample tubing goes to the water trap is the sample port. Now behind the sample port is a gas filter that we have to replace and all you have to do is just grab that little ledge over here, pull it, pull it up, discard, and replace with a new one. Just press it down. There you go. Now your machine is uh, all set up other than your oxygen tubing that have to connect, that you have to connect to your I know blender here. Either there or just an O2 source that you have in the back. Okay, now we're going to be doing uh, part of the pre-use check. And um, the main thing is that you want to make sure that your I know regulator 
has that plastic tip on the end because otherwise that your tank will leak like crazy okay so how this regulator gets connected to your tank your tank is right here you'll pop the red uh, lock off unscrew the metal cap insert your regulator screw it in Turn the tank on. You can see that it has that much pressure. And then just turn it off. Now when you turn it off, what you're looking for is whether the pressure will drop and that's part of your previous check. If it drops, then you know that your seal is not tight enough and it's leaking. And then you have to retighten your tank to make sure it's, it's tight. Your whole machine is now set up all you have to do is turn it on. On off button is in the back. You flip that on and the machine will do its own pre-use check. First thing that we have to do after a pre-use check is to do a low room air count. So we have to wait until the machine uh, performs the uh, its pre-use, its, its boot up mode and then we'll do the room air count. Okay, now the machine is um, up and running all you have to do to do a uh, low o2 cow is to just press that screen you can go from the main screen to the second screen press low cow press low cow again and now it's calibrating you just have to wait all of these bars will look green when it's done See how that turned green after uh, doing the uh, low O2 cow, and so you're done. That's your first pre-use check. That's the very first part that you have to do, and then you have to um, follow the rest of these directions on how to do the rest of your pre-use um, calibration checkout. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to show you how the INO Max interfaces with a patient that's on a ventilator. First thing that you have to do is to take your whole setup, disconnect that, disconnect this, this one, your injector module will connect after the filter like this. And this thing, take off that little nipple, connects on the inspiratory side of the ventilator. Like that. Now this part is a little bit loose. So what you want to do is just tape around this connector and you should be good to go. And that's how the INO Max interfaces on a patient that's on a ventilator.